there. Can you guess what time it is? So last night I was kind of playing around with my phone in the app store and uh, checking out some new apps and some interesting apps and everything and I found one you guys might be interested. The uh, US Army has an app, it's called US Army, and if you go into it it's got a lot of cool little stuff in there for anybody who's thinking about joining the army or um, just interested in stuff in the army. It's got a lot of uh, new stuff, uh, there's a more section over here that's got uh, stuff like podcasts, got the army songs, got stuff on about the uniforms and everything. Um, it's got like the, the ACUs, the Class A uniforms for the females, and then the men's uniform and everything. And you see like an info thing and it gives you a whole spiel about it. It's kind of neat. I also like that they had um, other stuff like, oops, it crashed. Well, sometimes that happens with apps on the iPhone. But it had a lot of other cool apps and stuff on there um, for like uh, checking out weapons and everything. Let me go back into it. So you yeah, like weapon stuff here. You can see like how the, uh, the M4 is the knife, the M4, and it tells you a lot of specs about the M4, and a lot of other cool stuff, so uh, check it out, it's pretty cool. I'm really being a procrastinator today. I mean, I need to get my TA-50 military equipment stuff uh, cleaned, but um, I just keep putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off. One of the reasons is it's kind of cold out there in the garage, and I don't have to dig all that crap out. I mean, just look, it's 34 degrees outside. And most likely it's just as cold in the garage. I mean, just look. This doesn't look like something fun to dig through to try to find everything that I need. On the inside of it, yes. And you would have access to where you could literally get in their house when they left. Alright, well I guess I wasted enough of the day away. And uh, I guess I should get something uh, productive done today. So, I guess I'm going to go for it. Go into the garage. I'm going to pull some stuff out. Since I've been in the army for a long time, I have acquired a lot of equipment. Some of the stuff is green, some of it's desert colored, some of it's ACU colored. There's a pretty big variety of uh, equipment here. So I think now all I really can do is just grab a bunch of stuff, bring it on down into the basement, and start separating it and trying to inventory it and clean it, see what needs to be cleaned. That's a lot of shit. I figure this is a chance to uh, get you guys a little more education on some of my military gear. Of course, not all of it, but we'll check out a few of the cool stuff. So let's check it out. This right here is the old style rucksack you used to have to carry around. Which got replaced by a much, much bigger one and an ACU colored one. The uh, old one had a metal frame here. And the new style has got a plastic style frame. You'd think that probably would make it more weaker, but actually it uh, holds together pretty well. I haven't had any problems with it and uh, no cracks in it or nothing. Then there's the old Kevlar and the new Kevlar. A um, little bit of differences, just mostly the material, how it's made. This one has Velcro, it has a little bit different padding. Inside it's a little bit different style. And uh, again, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller looking. Then you have the old vest. And the new style vest. This is a lot harder to put on the other one, but uh, provides you a little bit better protection and stuff like that. There's other accessories that can attach to it if you want. But um, usually this is how I went. Oh, obviously I've been in uniform when I was in Iraq though. But, uh, there's other attachment stuff that goes on the shoulders if you want to add that kind of stuff. Uh, some more extra side protection and everything too. And these are the plates that go inside of them. A little, a little bit heavy. And of course all that stuff and much much more uh, gets turned in. So I won't get to keep any of that stuff. I do get to keep this thing though however. This is what you wear underneath the body armor now uh, so that it's not so hot in the summertime when uh, you're in Iraq and everything. It kind of makes you feel like a superhero when you're wearing it. So there you go. There's a cool little view at some of the equipment. There's so much to show you guys. It would just take way too long to be able to show you guys. Alright, so I'll be fair about it since 
I don't really get a whole crap ton of views on a lot of my videos, but if I have 10 comments in this video from 10 different people requesting to see another video on just military equipment more in depth and stuff like that, then I'll do a special video for you guys. But only if there's about 10 comments, or more, take more of course, uh, asking for it from 10 different people. Of course you gotta request it in time because you do realize that from the day of this video I only have a few more days or so before that equipment's gone. So I was gonna do this in one of the other videos uh, earlier on, but I forgot all about it until just now. But basically I just wanted to ask you guys, what's your guys' New Year's resolution? As for me, I kinda have a resolution and also a goal. My goal is that I receive some honors this year on YouTube. I'd like to either be like maybe like one of the most viewed or you know even number 50 or something would be cool or even most subscribed, you know, at number 50 or 40 or 80 something. Just just something that have kind of honors on my page that shows that I've uh, received an honor from YouTube. And my resolution is to really get on top of Chaos Productions. I have a video uh, uh, thing that I do on the side as far as uh, video production and stuff like that, and I really haven't been on top of it in the last several years, and I really need to get on top of it this year. You've probably seen the poster back behind me, but that's the logo I've designed and the company I've designed. And uh, the website's under construction right now, but later on in the year it'll be uh, up a little bit better, actually hopefully a little later on in the month. But um, it's www.chaosproductions.com. I'll write it right down here, because it's got a Z on the end, not an S. So check out the website if you want, and uh, you can also check out some of the other uh, videos I've done is on that side of uh, things. Well, today was the end of my four-day weekend. So, tomorrow, it's back to work. But, if everything goes right, I should start clearing here in a few days and um, really get into some of the really exciting things on my end anyways, because it means I'm just that much closer to not having to deal with the army anymore. And yes, that means I am very much so looking forward to getting out of the army. Once you've done one job for ten years and don't really like it too much, it's definitely time for a change. So, thank you guys again for watching, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.